9 a.m. The wheels are turning in this Hungarian factory. Workers at German-owned company Ziel Abeg are rolling up coils for electric motors. Low wages in Hungary still make this kind of manual labor profitable. Once they've been checked, the parts are packed up and set off to the plant in Germany, an 860-kilometer journey. The trucks can go straight through to their destination without customs controls. The people over there can start offloading immediately. By 11 o'clock, the truck is on its way, with 100,000 euros worth of freight on board. Thanks to the Schengen Agreement, goods and people can move freely through most of Europe. Driver Georgi Kish is scheduled to cross three borders and take 24 hours to reach his destination, arriving when the parts are needed. One o'clock, the first border crossing between Hungary and Slovenia. The Hungarian-Slovenian border, no problem. At 2.30, the truck crosses from Slovenia into Austria, again without a hitch. But at 6 p.m. on the Austrian-German border, it's stop and go. The German border police set up checkpoints here occasionally. This time it costs Gergi Kisch an extra half hour. The next day, the truck arrives punctually at noon with the parts. Border closures or just tougher checks would bring this tightly knit production network to a standstill. It would undermine the whole system. It would make the supply chain too lengthy and expensive. We'd have to move production back to Germany. And companies would have to expand already costly storage space. Just-in-time deliveries are saving them lots of money. We have goods worth 120,000 euros in this warehouse, which is enough for one day's production. That means three days already amount to 360,000 euros, 10 days to 1.2 million. On the other hand, if the parts from Hungary are delayed just 12 hours, that throws a serious wrench into the works of this company. <laughs>